So this is a short video to welcome new users to the interface of Autodesk Maya. So when you first open up Maya, this is basically what it looks like. You have a grid um, and you have a lot of 3D space. And the challenge that all new Maya users have is understanding what all these different buttons do, and there are a lot of them, and how to navigate this 3D space. So starting uh, with the basics, let's take a look at how to navigate this 3D space. So if you're right-handed, as I am, what you're going to do is have your left thumb on the keyboard, on the Alt key, that's ALT, bottom left-hand side of your keyboard, and then assuming you're using a three-button mouse, if you hold down your left mouse button, you will be able to do this, which is uh, to dolly. So you can dolly around the grid. Um, so let's just go and create something, just to make this a little bit more intuitive. So if I go up to Create Polygon Primitives Sphere, you'll see that I've created a sphere there on my screen. So I can dolly around that sphere using Alt Left Mouse. Then if I go to my middle mouse button, again holding down Alt, I can move that sphere around. Whoops. There we go. Um, and if I go to my right mouse button, I can zoom in and out on the sphere. And I can use a combination of those three. So learning how to dolly, left mouse, move, middle mouse, and zoom, right mouse, is the first thing you're going to do in Maya. The next thing you want to learn how to do is learn how to move stuff around. So I've got my sphere that I've just created. If I want to move that sphere, then I'm going to go ahead and use the um, uh, the move tool. That's this guy down here, uh, the little the square with the four little blue triangles. So if I click on that, I'll get this little three these little three way arrows, and I can select with my left mouse button any of these and start to move the sphere around in 3D space. Now if I want to move it back to the origin or I just decide that I've had enough of what I'm doing I can hit Z on my keyboard and if I keep doing that it will eventually go back to where it started. The other way of doing the, doing the exact same result is to go up here in the channel box uh, and just uh, drag select all of the translate XYZ values punch in zero and the sphere will return to the origin. I can also um, go to the rotate button up here, press that and I can rotate the sphere either in X or in Y or in Z as well. And I can also scale it by using the scale tool here where I can make it, make it uh, different shapes we don't tend to use the scale tool much in animation, but you use it quite a bit when you're modeling. Mainly with animation, we're concerned with move and rotate. So I'm just going to hit Z, take my sphere back to um, uh, the origin. Zero that out. OK, now let's, let's get the basic animators set up. So this is, the, this is the basic setup you'll be using for animation. So what we want to do is go Panels. Saved layouts, uh, actually, sorry, panels, panel, no, 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 panels, layouts, that's it, three panes, split top, panels, layouts, three panes, split top. And then if I select up here, if I go to perspective view, so I've got two perspective views underneath, uh, which we'll do for now, and then uh, later on we'll create a camera view. But for now, having two perspective views is fine. And then down here, we want to make sure that we go panel, panels, panel, graph editor, the graph editor. And that's the one I've got open here. And we're going to need that when we um, set keyframes on our sphere. And when we do some animation, they will show up down here in the graph editor. But that's for a uh, separate uh, video. And once you've got that done, you can go, um, you can go to the, uh, this menu here on the left and then right click and then go down to save current layout and type in animation. I've already done that so I'm not going to go ahead and do it again but if you go ahead and, ahead and click OK you'll be able to pull this layout back anytime and all you have to do is go back down there to that menu right click and there you can see mine down there is called animation so I can get back to this menu uh, anytime that I want. 
we should also go ahead and name our sphere and we can do that in two places we can name it here in the channel box but better yet let's go and name it in the outliner that's windows outliner which is the um which is where you go when you want to find stuff so it's just called p, p sphere one but we can double click on that and call it ball no spaces maya doesn't like spaces and now we've given it a proper name and um Anytime you want to find something in Maya, the outliner is a good place to begin. Something else you're going to want to do when you first get started is go into the preferences down here. That's this little orange guy. And under make sure that playback speed, by default, Maya will have it under play every frame. You want to go to 24 frames per second and then click OK. Now, if you want to do something really simple, like set some keyframes, um, we want to be down down here in the timeline. So let's say we want something to take four seconds, roughly. We might set our timeline to 100. Um, this number needs to be 100 as well. And then let's say, let's go to frame one, and let's drag our ball over here. And just lift it slightly above the... Um, grid press s to set a keyframe then if we go to frame 100 you just drag it over here and set s again and then press a in the graph editor we're going to get a um, little bit of animation there so if i press play in my timeline the ball will start off slow uh, pick up speed and then slow down again so that's some really super basic animation in maya showing a ball moving from left to right and you can see down here it's tracking its progress with this curve in Translate Z in the graph editor.